that feeling when Psyonix drops a bombshell on you out of nowhere. I came home for lunch, I got like a 20 minute break from work, and I had to throw up a video. We have a ton of information from Psyonix out of nowhere. They dropped a bombshell on us. The spring 2019 roadmap has been updated. We are seeing our season rewards for season nine, which are some very slick wheels. We are also seeing the grand champion rewards that we're going to get for various playlists. And uh, this is something that I think is cool because this is something a lot of people complained about when the season nine changed up the different playlists that we would have, and we would have ranked things like. Um, like Rumble, Drop Shot, Hoops, Snow Day, all that stuff, you get different tags now. So you get a, a standard Grand Champion tag for the competitive sections of Season 9. Uh, Rumble, you get the RNG Champ. Drop Shot, you're going to get Floor Destroyer tag. Hoops, you're going to get Dunk Master. And Snow Day, you're going to get Blizzard Wizard. Uh, so that's kind of cool. The the purists of the game were, were a little uh, salty about everybody kind of being lumped in together. Well, don't worry about it. Not everybody's going to be lumped in together. You're going to be able to see the differences uh, so you can still feel superior to other people in one way or another. <laughs> um, so all this stuff is coming in February. Uh, we're getting the Rocket ID as well. So we're getting our uh, our in-game friends list and all that stuff. And we are also getting, drum roll, boom, a new in-game event and the launch of cross-platform parties. So this is actually coming a little bit quicker than I thought it might because we just got the last update with the cross-platform play, but now we have everybody in together all of a sudden in February. Uh, so really, really cool. I'm super excited. We're just slamming update after update, which is really cool. As of right now, they have not placed a hard date on what uh, on when the update will actually drop, but we're looking in February, which is pretty cool. We also have uh, a little bit of teaser into March for the licensed premium DLC that we're getting. We're not exactly sure what that's going to be. And we also know that we are going to have the end of Rocket Pass 2. So all of this stuff is super cool. Uh, I've looked at everything and I was like, what are they going to do for the, for the new season rewards? We just had wheels. We just had all this stuff. Spoiler alert, it's wheels again, uh, <laughs> which is really surprising to me, honestly. Um, but they honestly look pretty fresh. They're, they're decent little wheels. Uh, the bronze and the silver this time are a little lackluster, which makes sense because in, in seasons past, uh, I think it was the last wheels that we got I would rock the heck out of the, the silver and the gold because they look cool. Silver was the closest thing you could get to white, and gold looked pretty freaking cool. And uh, all that stuff just... I, I don't want to like punish people for being lower tier. Like Everybody plays the game different. Everybody's going to be at a different skill level. And that's all cool and fine. Uh, but I think rationally, the coolest thing should be the champion ones, and the next coolest one should be the diamond ones, and so on and so forth. Um, so I'm going to throw this up on here. The, uh, the golds look pretty decent. You're starting to get a little bit more movement that's actually noticeable because actually all of the wheels move, but bronze and silver are a little bit difficult to see. But gold, you see a little bit more movement, and then platinum, of course, you see a little bit more yet. Uh, so platinum has this like light bluish tinge, and I will say for the first time uh, since they, I, I guess since they updated uh, the last season rewards that we got that were wheels, uh, you know, they, they launched them and platinum and diamond were really really similar and the for the first time since they fixed those uh and this is the first time they're going to get it right off of the rip from what it looks like uh the platinum looks pretty different than the diamond and the diamond looks pretty dang cool and that's just something i am super digging uh i actually am a really big fan of the diamond ones uh, and obviously champ looks really cool my only argument with the champ is going to continue to be i can't ever find a actual paint scheme in the game or a paint color in game that is going to match my wheels. I can never ever find a good mix. And honestly, that just means I don't end up ever using my champ wheels because I can't make it match the rest of my car very well. So hopefully if we, uh, if we push on them a little bit, we can get a little bit more um, with, with all of this stuff coming in because I really feel like the blue side has a ton of options. Um, I'm sorry, the, the blue side doesn't have a ton of options, I apologize. Uh, you know, your orange side, you have your oranges, your reds, your pinks, your yellows, your golds, uh, all that stuff, and that you can make really solid things that match 
uh, all of the painted wheels and all of that stuff that come out. However, on the blue side, you have light blue, dark blue, and green. Because, uh, <laughs> you, you know, we, we started to have like this purple type of color, but it's not a full on purple. It's not something that we can actually uh, match very well um, at all, because it doesn't match any of the purple wheels that we get, or it doesn't even honestly match the, the painted purple octane and all that. So um, it, I'm glad we have those things, but if they don't match, it's kind of hollow sucker a little bit, but not to complain. I don't want to complain at all, uh, because I'm super glad with the, uh, the expanded color palette and all that, but I am super hoping that since they made some sweet, sweet champion wheels that we can actually match the champion color at some point. Uh, cause I think that's a, that's a big motivating factor for a decent amount of people to, to get in there and rise up the ranks, fight really hard and get to that champ level. So obviously the the standard um, stuff goes, if you're bronze one or higher, you're going to get the bronze reward. So basically everybody's going to get bronze rewards, silver one to silver three, you get silver, gold one to gold three, you're going to get gold, so on and so forth. And you get all the wheels underneath them. Um, so I'm a little bit interested in doing wheels again, just because we had them so recently. Uh, but I think the, the best success and the best community reception that we've had have been traditionally on the wheels. Um, the the boosts that we got not too long ago were kind of neat. They were okay, um, but they weren't exactly super sought after or, uh, you know, they, they weren't the, the most favorite thing that the community has ever seen. But, you know, that's it is what it is. Uh, <clears throat> pardon me. Uh, so continuing with with the, the different uh, the different playlists being ranked super super cool i'm super happy about that i really want to know more about this licensed dlc because a lot of times that stuff is really cool and it makes me blow two dollars for no reason um but that that is a little bit ways off so we'll get to see more about that soon uh so they do say we have plenty more in store for players this spring as rocket pass 3 will be coming your way with a new challenge system that we're eager to reveal once we get closer to its release you may have also seen preview images of the beautiful new arena that was created for our version of Rocket League in China. The arena is still under construction, but we will be ready for action in all territories later this year. So I honestly really like different arenas coming in too. Uh, I wish we would get more of them. It do get a little bored of the same old, same old thing uh, because I, I think Farmstead is back in the rotation now, which is cool. I'm honestly a big fan of Salty Shores. It was a little bright. If we can tone down the brightness, I love having that in. And as it starts to warm up, we can we can put our little egg people in our cars uh, back in some warm environments as well. And that's something that I'm really looking forward to. I'm intrigued by the challenge system that's coming in for Rocket Pass 3. Uh, I think this is something that was teased originally way back when we started uh, to, to discuss the Rocket Pass and what it was going to be and what it was going to contain. And uh, it was kind of discussed earlier, and I don't think it's something that they had ever agreed to or said that it was for sure a thing but they there was talk about um the way that like uh call of duty does their tier up system where you get like one free tier up a day if you do a certain thing and there was discussion about maybe you get a level up if you can you know create uh perform a hat trick in game or get a savior medal in a game then you'll get a free tier up and just kind of having like a daily challenge that encourages you to play a new game type or play a different play style or anything like that uh, that will kind of encourage people to keep playing and get some more um, sense of fulfillment. Uh, EA's TM right there. Um, I have to pay EA money now that, that I, <laughs> I talked about giving people a sense of pride and fulfillment. But uh, all that stuff I think is a really cool idea, honestly. This is a game that I think would lend itself really well to having different challenges and different things that you try to do in game uh it, it is a little bit of a fine line because you don't want people to like be trying so hard to score a turtle goal that they're screwing up goals for their team and and all that stuff and i think that's something that psionics has expressed uh not being super interested in pushing forward like that's why we can't see certifications on other people's cars because that was that was a, a community idea to like make certifications actually matter and say you know if if i have a certain level on my wheels i could choose like one of my items <clears throat> 
I can choose one of my items to highlight and it's going to automatically show up as like underneath my tag of like turtle wheel or, you know, whatever it is, like kind of give my certification level. That's something that Psyonix kind of rejected because they said, you know, it would, it had the, the possibility of kind of ruining the experience for some people if their teammate was trying to play a certain way just to get a tag uh, and kind of be artificially buffed up uh, and kind of have bragging rights at the expense of others. So that's not something that I think we we're talking about here. I, I think that's something that's going to be completely different. Um, I don't think we're going to be seeing that much of a change in play style other than, you know what, maybe my teammate is a little bit more conservative on defense, maybe like, you know, if you have to get a, a, a savior medal or, you know, maybe he's a little bit more aggressive on offense. Um, but, you know, I think those are the, the things that uh, casual modes are for. So, um, that's why I stick to those. If you know, if I'm learning something, or if I'm trying something new, I'm not going to go learn and rank and and screw up somebody's ranked by you know me whiffing. That's going to happen anyway, but at least not intentionally. So uh, all, all that stuff is really intriguing. I think that's going to be really cool. Um, but I would love to know how everybody feels about the the wheels. How feels about the wheels? I don't know what I'm doing with my life. I'd like to know how everybody feel feels yeah feels about the wheels the words don't even make sense anymore I speak, i'm going to speak german for the, from here on out i'd like to know how everybody uh perceives these season rewards uh we're going to change it up a little bit so i don't sound like a moron uh, i'd love to know what you guys think of that and what uh what the first thing is or what the best thing is going to be about the rocket pass or the, the rocket id and the new rocket pass challenges like what those could be and all of that stuff i'd love to hear some reactions or some thoughts from you all that's what we're here for this is what we do so i'd love to hear all of that and uh hit us up like comment subscribe do all that stuff if you want to if not it's fine i still love you and i will see you next time